All right, guys, welcome back. This is my second video I am making today alone on uh, helium mining. The first one I just made a few minutes ago was basically, you know, is it too late to get into helium mining? I know a lot of people have that question. They're asking, you know, I'm watching all these people make money. Uh, is it too late? You know, by the time I get mine, you know, it's six months down the road, that kind of stuff. Um, this video, I want to change it up and ask, is it safe? to set up a helium miner in your house and putting your house on the map, a worldwide grid, grid where people can literally pinpoint your house. So I wanna get into it a little bit. I'm gonna tell you guys something that I did that I was kinda not comfortable with it, but I was like, you know what? I have to do it if I want the answer. So um, now I'm not saying go do this and I hope this doesn't you know, make a thing because here's, here's the thing, all right? There was a miner right near my house. There's not many miners at all in my area. There's literally one in in the in the in the in the place I live. There's one and it was offline, okay? So I wanted to get in touch with the with this owner and say, "Yo, one, why is it offline? Not that it's my business, okay? But it leads to my second question is, is it offline because you just don't want to do it anymore? Was it not making money? Is it just too much of a hassle? I had questions myself that I wanted answered. Um, and then the third part was, if you don't want it and you're not going to use it, will you sell it to me? Like, I'll buy it off of you instead of waiting six months to get, you know, mine coming in. I'll at least have one, you know, in the meantime, I can set it up and see what happens. So that's the three things I wanted to know is why is it offline? None of my business, to be honest. Uh, two, um... Uh, are you selling it? And uh, three, is there problems? Like what's going on kind of thing? Okay, so how do you get in touch with this person without being a creep? I don't want to go knock on their door. Uh, I know exactly where they live. I could check it out. I could check it out on the map. I could check it out on Google Maps. I know exactly where this person lives. It's the only one with a helium miner in all of my place. So how do I get in touch with this person without, you know, I, I don't want to break their um, their personal space, you know? And it's kind of hard to do that when you want to talk to a stranger that you, you, you literally don't know them and they don't know you and you have they have something that you want um, and you want to talk to them about it. So the best way I did that I could come up with without being too intrusive was I wrote a note. I wrote a letter and said, hey, listen, I see you have a, a helium miner. Um, I'm interested in getting into helium mining and, um, you know, I have a few questions. If you'd like to call me, here's my phone number. So I left my phone number, I, I signed it, whatever, uh, and I put a letter at their home. And now, even doing that, I was like, you know, am I going too far? Is this too far? Um, I know where they live. I, I don't know if I would feel comfortable if someone came to my house and did that. And I'm, th I'm debating it while I'm doing this. And I'm going, you know what, I'm going to try it. But here's the thing. That's what I'm saying. Is it safe? I literally know where this person lives. Now, I have, don't have bad intentions. I literally don't have bad intentions. I, I had good intentions where I had questions, maybe even buy it off the person. But I'm thinking, like, what, what does this do? Like, I literally know this person is mining it from this house. They're into, the, into crypto and all that stuff. But there's another way to look at it, too, right? I guess if someone has, like, a fancy car or something and they park it in their driveway, maybe it shows they have money, too. So there is two different ways to look at it. But that's, that was my main concern. Even getting into it, it's like, do I even want to put one in my house? Uh, or do I want to put it, uh, you know, maybe some like office building or something like that or figure it out. Do I want to put my friends at risk? Uh, you know, questions like that. Uh, it was really, it was really weird. So is, is mining safe? I think, you know, it is to extent. I know, you know, people may, uh, you know, there's always good and bad in every situation. And that's, that was the, my, my biggest question. Now, if you are a helium miner or whatever kind of mining, whatever, what are your thoughts on the fact that your house can literally be pinpointed on a map? People could, like me could go up and, and write a letter. Uh, for me, like I said, to me, it felt like it was the least intrusive way, writing the letter, leaving at their door, instead of knocking on their door, waiting for them to get home. I don't know. Uh, I just, it was it was really weird to me. As, as much as I knew it was I was in good intentions, how do they know that? How do they know that my intentions are good? They don't know me. I don't know them. Uh, but to get to the conclusion of the story, the the man that owned it actually called me back and he was really cool about it all which i, I was really thankful for and i was really i was happy that that it was uh that he wasn't like yo what are you doing man why are you coming to my house kind of thing because it could have gone either way let's be honest it could have gone either way uh but he was really cool about it we actually talked for a while he explained why it was offline and and he said no no no, i'm, I'm into it and this and that he explained it all but we actually got talking and, and and he answered a lot of questions that i had so it really worked out you know 
uh, it worked out well. Now, I'm not going to say this would happen every time. You know, maybe some people be like, yo, get out of here. Why are you calling me? Or why are you coming to my door? Or whatever. Uh, but this guy was cool, luckily. So I didn't end up getting his minor. But uh, like I said, he answered some questions and stuff. And I, I kind of felt dirty while I was doing it. I was like, is this the right? Am I doing? Is this wrong? Like, should I really be leave i mean i guess it's just a letter it's not really harmful but the fact that this guy's like yo this guy knows where i live i don't know it just there were so many things i felt wrong but at the same time i was like i know my intentions are good uh you know i'm gonna leave my number and, and stuff like that and, and, and it worked out it worked out in the fact that he was cool with it i didn't get the minor but uh but no harm was done um i want to know you in your in, in, let, let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about all this do you think it's weird what i did i i, I almost i was almost battling myself like is it too much is it too much? Is it is it okay? Like, is this okay? Is it okay to do this? Is it not okay? Let me know in the comments below. And and listen, uh, let's have the conversation. If you think it was wrong, let me know. I'm okay with that because I wasn't even sure myself. Let me know what you think. Uh, is that something you would do? Um, I've heard of people in New York knocking on people's doors, being like, "Yo, move your minor. It's in my way." And that's the other part of it. I feel like I feel like it could be, you know, when it comes to money and and things like that, people can really. Um, you know, get a, they can, they can get aggressive about it. They can get upset about it. You know, I get it. Um, I'm very interested to see, has anybody ever knocked on your door? Have you ever thought about doing this? Have you done it a different way? Do you have a different way to do this? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but guys, that will be it for today. I definitely want to have that conversation because I was looking for videos about this too. Like, yo, how do, how do we, how do we come across this? I was looking for this on YouTube and I didn't find any. So I wanted to let you know my story and how I did it. Uh, maybe it was right, maybe it wasn't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, hit that follow button, you know the drill. Hit that sub button, leave a comment, leave that like. Uh, algorithms, gotta say it, man. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to see you soon. And uh, also, I do stream on Twitch uh, pretty much every single night, twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. There it is right there, that's Capone Gaming. I'll leave the link below. And uh, come on by, say what's up. We love to talk crypto. I'm out of here. See you later, you beauties.